Oh, this cemetery will all the So you but uh, it's actually a the front. She's not going to make the bear on the lower ground. I should care of you. Yes. What's wrong with him? What's wrong with him? He hurt his back. Ouch. That's not good. I no. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. We're going to begin together with Hine Matov in the top of 128. Hine Matov, Manai, Shabbat Achim Gam he in a matto lumanaim, Shabbatahim Gam How good and how pleasant it is that we all dwell together. Looking out into the congregation, I want to really look at people as a soul that is working on growing. Rabbi Jen Manville. Each of us is more than our body. We are each the holder of a soul. Our souls need constant care and attention. Musar, the Jewish practice of self-improvement, allows us to acknowledge the need for growth and that each person is unique while working towards bringing our souls closer to God. The practice of Musar is as simple or as complicated as you wish to make it. As always, I highly recommend a book, <laughs> this one entitled Everyday Holy Day, which is a day book of daily quotes and opportunity for reflection. You can pick it up at any point since it is not tied to the time of year. And the values or the ideals that it focuses on give us a glimpse of what Musar is all about. They are gratitude, enthusiasm, joy, strength, loving kindness, order, equanimity, honor, humility, generosity, watchfulness, judging others favorably, calmness, patience, love, abstinence, compassion, modesty, willingness, simplicity, courage, trust, faith, truth, silence, and awe. These values or ideals help us to be the best people that we can be, and they are what is within our own control. As we pray this evening together, we hold onto those pieces of ourselves that bring us joy and release those things that cause us stress. Together, we enter Shabbat. So we're going to continue together with the words of Maya Fe Hayom on 128 before we light our Shabbat candles. Maya Fehayom, Shabbat Shalom. Maya Fehayom, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. My Yafe Shabbat Shalom. My Yafe 
Shabbat Shalom. We turn together back to 120, the lighting of the Shabbat candles. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who hallows us with me's vote, commanding us to kindle the light of Shabbat. And together we say, Amen. Amen. We continue together on 138 and 139. The words of Lechado D. So we welcome the Sabbath Friday. Lechado D. Likrat Kala. Pene Shabbat Mekabela. Lechado D. Likrat Kala. Pene Shabbat Mekabela. Shamo Zaho Bidi Burekhan, he hinch me a new elman you had, Adonayam, we <laughs> We rise in body or spirit to face the entrance and welcome the Sabbath bride the first night. Bowie shalom a teret bala, namest im ha utsola, tofelune am sebula, bowie hala, bowie hala, lecha do tili krat kala, pene shabbat me kabela. You may be seated. We continue together with Mizmor Shir, Psalm 92 on 140. Mizmor Shir, Layom Hashabat, Tov Lehojot La Adonai, Ulezamer Le Shimcha El Yom, Ulezamer Le Shimcha El Yom. Lehagi babo gehastaha. The emunar kaba lelo. Ale yasur ne ave navel. Ale higayon behino. Mis morshi le yom ha shabbat tov le hodot la adonai ule zamer le shimcha el yom ule zamer le shimcha el yom ki samachtani adonai befo olecha b'ma asay adecha arane ma gadlu. Ma'asecha Adonai, 
מאוד עם ומחשבותיך. מזמור שיר ליום השבת, טוב להודות לאדוני. ולזמר לשמך עליון, ולזמר לשמך עליון. 141, we read together the English of Psalm 93. Adonai is sovereign. God is robed in grandeur. Adonai is robed. God is girded with strength. The world stands firm. It cannot be shaken. Your throne stands firm from of old. From eternity, you have existed. The ocean sounds, Adonai. The ocean sounds its thunder. The ocean sounds its pounding. Above the thunder of the mighty waters, more majestic than the breakers of the sea, is Adonai majestic on high. Your decrees are indeed enduring. Holiness befits your house. Adonai for all. We join together in welcoming the Shabbat angels of Shalom and Lechem on 142. Shalom Aleichem, Today is the first day of the month of Av, the month in which we note both Tisha B'Av, a day of great mourning, as well as Tu B'Av, the Jewish day of love. Av is also the month prior to the month of Elul, our lead up to the High Holy Days. Therefore, it's only two months away. Our period of reflection does not need to be contained solely in the month of Elul, it can be a year round process. We can set goals for ourselves at any point. We can recognize our strengths and our weaknesses at all times. We can remind ourselves that we are only human, that tomorrow is another day, and we can work on, not try, to be the best person we can be. Musa can help us reach our goals of inner peace and understanding, helping develop ourselves into the sanctuary so that we may guide others toward sanctuary as well. We hold this in our prayers as we continue together, Hatsi Kaddish 144. <laughs> Yet 
What does it mean to be called to worship? All serious activity requires preparation. The prayers and blessings that precede Barhu are warm ups for the individual. Now communal prayer begins. The leader asks, are you ready to pray? And we respond, yes, let us pray. We rise in body or spirit for the Barhu on Am I awake? Am I prepared? Are you listening to my prayer? Can you hear my voice? Do you understand? Am I awake? Am I prepared? Yellow light, 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 yellow light, light. We continue together in prayer in the middle of 148. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, who speaks the evening into being, skillfully opens the gates, thoughtfully alters the time and changes the seasons, and arranges the stars in their heavenly courses according to plan. You are creator of day and night, rolling light away from darkness and darkness from light, transforming day into night, and distinguishing one from the other. And of night to oat is your name. Ever living God, may you reign continually over us into eternity. Blessed are you, Adonai, who brings on evening. Baruch Gata Adonai, Hama Ari, Arabi. Middle of 151. Wisdom and wonder, passion and instruction, story and symbol. All these things your Torah gives to us. And the more we devote ourselves to it, the more it grows and gives. What could be a truer token of your abiding love than this holiest of your works in the living language that gives it form? Baruch Atadunai, Ohev Amo Yisrael. We turn the page as we join together in Shema, the watchword of our community. Shema Yisrael, you may be seated. You 
continue with via hafta and 154. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha v'chol levabcha v'chol nafshecha v'chol me'aldecha v'hayu hadvarim ha'ele asher anofim etzavecha ayom ha'levabcha v'shinan ta'am levanecha then you are tough, they sheep to have the tough, who black the car, or terror, who shop the car, who smack, who shart on my own, on your deck, the high you let out of the neck, who tough, on the tins of the tough, who be he shot. Pop 157. Standing on the parted shores of history, we still believe what we were taught forever we stood at Sinai's foot, that wherever we go, it is eternally Egypt, that there is a better place, a promised land, the winding way to that promise passes through the wilderness, but there is no way to get from here to there, except by joining hands, marching together. He joins together in the words of me, Hamoka, on 158. <laughs> Thus it is said, Adonai redeemed Jacob from a hand stronger than his own. Praise are you, Adonai, for redeeming Israel. Baruch atah Adonai, Ga'al, Israel. We turn the page as we join together in Hashkivenu. The words are also on the screen. Hashkivenu Adonai Eloheinu Meshalom. The shalom, the honey, the shalom, renew, the high. Who froze all in you, so catch long, mecha. Who froze all in you, so catch long, mecha. Ah, ah, Shelter us beneath your wings, O oh Adonai. Guard us from all harmful things, O oh Adonai. Keep us safe throughout the night till we wake with morning's light. Teach us God wrong from right. Amen. 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 
We prepared to join together with Bish Shamru on 162. Just wanted to draw attention to the English, right? Because Bish Shamru is literally words of Torah. Exodus 31, verses 16 and 17, which read, the people of Israel shall keep Shabbat. Observing Shabbat throughout the ages as a covenant for all time is a sign for all time between me and the people of Israel. For in six days, Adonai made heaven and earth. And on the seventh day, God ceased from work and was refreshed. And it's these thoughts, it's these words that Ahana um, reflects on and says that more than the Jewish people have kept Shabbat, Shabbat has kept the Jewish people. The idea being that this moment, this remembrance every week to take time, to reflect, to contemplate, to rest mentally and physically um, has allowed us right, to continue the fight, right, to continue moving forward, to continue creating during the days of the week. We join together in the words of Bishamra. Vishamru Bene Israel Etashaba Lava so tetashaba led or tamberi dolam Vishamru Bene Israel Etashaba la <laughs> La so teta shaba, le dor tamberi doba. Ki she shat yamim, a sadanai, a sadanai, et a shamaim, et ha arets the shamru, then a Israel, et a shaba. Every word of one's prayer should be like a rose that is picked from a bush. One gathers rose upon rose until a bouquet is formed and can be offered to God as a beautiful blessing. Nachman of Breslau. We join together in the Amidah, our standing prayer, beginning in 164. We rise in body or spirit. Adonai Sifatatita Ukriya Gita Hilateha Adonai Open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Elohe Avotinu Mimoteinu Elohe Avraham Elohe Yitzchak Elohe Yaakov Elohe Sarah Elohe Rivka Elohe Rachel Elohe Leah Ha'el Hagadol Hagibor Vahanora El El Yom Gomel Chasadim Tobim Vekone hakol, vizoher hasea bofi mahut, who may be who lali name rekam, leman shmo biahabah, melech ozer o machia umagin, 
Baruch Atanai, Magin Abraham, Bezrat Sarah. Atagi for the Lamadanai, Behagi Hakulata Rafa Hoshia, Maureen Hata, Mehagin Fahim Behesen, Mehagin so much no you may be seated. Continue on the top of 173. May these hours of rest and renewal open our hearts to joy and our minds to truth. May all who struggle find rest on this day. May all who suffer find solace. May all who hurt find healing on this day. May all who despair find purpose. May all who hunger find fulfillment on this day. And may this day fulfill its promise. Baruch Atadonai, Mekadesh HaShavat. Middle of 175. You are with us in our prayer, our love, and our doubt, and our longing to feel your presence and do your will. You are the still, clear voice within us. Therefore, O oh God, when doubt troubles us, when anxiety makes us tremble, when pain clouds the mind, we look inward for the answer to our prayers. There may we find you, and there find courage, insight, and endurance. And let our worship bring us closer to one another, that all Israel and all who seek you may find new strength for your service. Baruch atadunai, sha'adacha levadcha, bir'ah na'ava. We give thanks in the middle of 177. When we behold your heavens, the work, your fingers, the moon and stars that you set in place, what are we humans that you are mindful of us? We mortals that you take note of us. We you made us little less than divine, adorned us with glory and majesty. You gave us dominion over your handiwork, laying the world at our feet. How majestic is your name throughout the earth. Baruch atarunai, atov shimcha ucha na'e lehodot. Rabbi Nachman's prayer for peace. May it be your will, Holy One, our God, our ancestors, God, that you erase war and bloodshed from the world and in its place draw down a great and glorious peace so that nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. Rather, may all the inhabitants of the earth recognize and deeply know this great truth that we have not come into this world for strife and division, nor for hatred and rage, nor provocation and bloodshed. We have come here only to encounter you, eternally blessed one. And so we ask your compassion upon us. Raise up by us what is written. I shall place peace upon the earth and you shall lie down safe and undisturbed, and I shall banish evil beasts from the earth, 
and the sword shall not pass through your land, but let justice come in waves like water and righteousness flow like a river, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Holy One as the waters cover the sea. So may it be, and we say, Amen. Join together with the words of Shalom Ra, 178. Shalom Shalom Blessed are you, Adonai, who blesses your people, Israel, with peace. Baruch ata Adonai, and Baruch ata mo Yisrael, Bashalom. Take a moment for silent prayer, the words in 180 and 181, the words of your hearts. Shalom, <laughs> We turn together to page 371, 371. As our thoughts turn to those in our family, community, and world who are in need of healing, body, mind, or spirit. If someone you're thinking of and you'd like to share their name, please place it in the chat or say it aloud. Vivian Kramer, Michael Stone, Uncle Air, Rachel Bauckham, and Josh Manson. 
Dennis Linderman, Al Berman, Maurice Berman, Allison Solomon, Iris Kamer, Joan Iser, Vicki Webner, Cooper Saul Roberts, Steve Edwards, Linwood Jennings. Kay, Nancy, and Mark. Join together the words of Misha Vera in the middle of each. This week, we read from the double parsha to Matot Masay. The focus at the end of this parsha is the requirement for each tribe to give land to the Levites, the priests, for their cities and for their pastures. We also read of the requirement of the refuge cities, cities of sanctuary, that a man can flee to if he has accidentally killed someone. The need for refuge cities, cities of sanctuary, has not decreased over the centuries, but rather, I feel, increased. When we speak of a person or people applying for asylum in another country, it is based on persecution in their home country, persecution that is not in their control. For example, being gay in a country that criminalizes being gay, or being of a minority faith that the governing body wishes to eradicate. There is a discussion in this country too about persecution, whether we are speaking about the banning or severe restrictions in place regarding abortion or the legislative action against trans children or the don't say gay legislation in Florida. One of my classmates serves a congregation in Florida and wrote a really beautiful sermon reminding their congregation that all people are welcome there and welcome as they are, making their congregation literally a place of sanctuary and their child care center, a place for children to be who they are. Here too, we hope that our congregation is a place of sanctuary. We are proud of our reformed Jewish heritage. We believe that all people are made in God's image and therefore that all people deserve to be treated as unique beings with unique needs. That all people shall be treated with respect and able to access health care, housing, food, and education. We also believe and work hard to make our city a place of sanctuary and refuge. We continue to work with our community partners to support a number of refugee families from Afghanistan specifically. If you're interested in volunteering or interested in donating money or other needed items, please reach out to me and I will connect you to the right person or people. I wanted to speak about this a little tonight because I realized I hadn't spoken about it in a while and that we are not reminded constantly, we forget what is occurring in our community. But I heard a lovely 
really lovely story last week from one of our members who told me that they've been working for almost a year now daily with one of the members of the refugee family, teaching them English. And this person arrived knowing none. And the commitment between both, right? The, the commitment to learn and the commitment to teach, I really find to be a beautiful thing. And though we do not all have teaching skills necessarily, there is something that each one of us can do. And to remind ourselves that our community is home to people from all over the world, some who've arrived voluntarily and some who have not, but all who are trying to make for themselves and their family a better life. We must continue to work for the day when all people have a place of sanctuary, both physical and spiritual. We're going to join together with Elenu on page 586, 586. At the bottom as we rise in body or spirit. Alenu le shabe akla don hako la te kudula liotse ereshi shalo asanu kwe harazo velo samadu kumish bechot adama shalo sam kogni du kahem You may be seated. It is hard to sing of oneness when the world is not complete, when those who once brought wholeness to our life have gone, and not but memory can fill the emptiness their passing leaves behind. But memory can tell us only what we were in company with those we loved. It cannot help us find what each of us alone must now become. Yet no one is really alone. Those who live no more echo still within our thoughts and words, 
and what they did is part of what we have become. We do best homage to our dead when we live our lives more fully, even in the shadow of our loss. For each of our lives is worth the life of the whole world, and each one is the breath, the ultimate one. In affirming the one, we affirm the worth of each one whose life now ended brought us closer to the source of life, in whose unity no one is alone, and every life finds purpose. We especially remember the yard sites. George Aaron, Urban David Burtman, Devil Berman, Ted Searles, Joan Davidson, Abe Edwards, Carl Ernst, Gary Fleischman, Henrietta Frank, Jonathan Francois, Carl Epstein Francois, Molly Gall, Fanny Goldfarb, Jacob Goldman, Alona Hartenstein, Harry Katz, Bill Herman, Arthur Kling, Paul Krischer, Andrew T. Land, Michael L. Land, Nicholas M. Lazar, Nancy Letsky, Henry Lewis, David Lieberman, Sarita Fandre Manaberg, Walter Manaberg, Marion McIntyre, Estelle Odom, Ruth Perellis, Linda Rappaport, Esther Ressler, Martin Rosenberg, Miriam G. Schultz, Anna Shapiro, Benjamin Simon, David Simon, Ida Skolnick, Morris Skolnick, Martin Strongen, Jonathan Tragerman, Milt Boyd, Isidore Wagenfeld, and Lauren Searing. We add Richard Perellis. Are there other additions, corrections? Join together in the mourner's cottage to be rise in body or spirit. 598. Yit kadal, deed kadash, shame rabba. Meal ma, divra, hirute, meal leek, ma ute. Behayahon, a biomehon, to kaye the full bait Israel. Bagala, Isman, Kari, Vimru, Amen. Yehesh, Me, Rava, Mibara, Leola, Umome, Amaya. Yitbara, Vish Daba, Vish Baar, Vish Roma, Vish Nase. Vita Dar, Vita Le, Vita Lal, Shme, Dukudisha, Brikhu. Leela, Minko, Virchata, Vishirata. Tush Mechata, Venechamata. Dami Ran de Alma, Ebru, Ame. Yehe Shwala Rava Min Shamaya. De Chaim Alenu Val Po Yisrael, Bimru, Ame. O se Shalom, Bimroma, Uya se Shalom, Alenu Val Po Yisrael, Bimru, Ame. May the one who creates harmony on high bring peace to us, to all Israel, and to all the world, to which we say, Amen. You may be seated. Tomorrow morning services are at 10 a.m. Uh, in person and on Zoom, followed by Torah study at 11.30 in person and on Zoom. Tomorrow night, you're welcome to join our Havdalah cookout at 7 o'clock um, out by the fire pit. Um, and I am assuming it's too late to buy tickets to the baseball game, but if you bought tickets to the baseball game on Sunday, it is Sunday um, at 1.30 with Congregation of Moses. Um, upcoming services next week, uh, seven o'clock in person and on YouTube as usual, and Saturday in person and on Zoom. Um, the second and fourth Friday, so two weeks, um, are gonna be outdoor services. Uh, do take a look at the newsletter when it comes out on Monday the 1st um, for more information about that and all the other things coming up in August. It's another full calendar. <laughs> and do take note, of course, of the fact that um, the holidays will be here sooner than you think. So um, do be on the lookout probably about mid-August um, for a mailing in the actual mail from the congregation. <laughs>
<laughs> with information about high holidays and and all of those things that are that are coming up. Um, I feel like I have to like the actual mail. No, you have to go outside and take it out. <laughs> <laughs> Not your email. We do send most things by email. Um, we're going to conclude with the words of uh, "Make me a sanctuary" because. You know, as much as this week's parsha is talking about literal sanctuary, right? You literally, I mean, the, the text is, you know, if, if, some, if a man has killed someone, it was an accident, and he needs a safe place to be um, so that the loved ones, the person who's been killed, don't retaliate immediately and a trial can be had, that there are these refuge cities. Um, there's actually an argument by some of our later commentators that say that it's not just the six refuge cities that are named, but it's actually all of the Levite cities um, that are a place of refuge, which one can then interpret as why we think of congregational spaces, right, houses of worship as sanctuaries as well. Um, Roman temples play the same type of role um, as churches have done, as synagogues have done throughout um, the centuries. I mean, this is a supposed to be a safe space physically as well um, as spiritually. So we join together. Oh Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true in thanksgiving. I'll be your living sanctuary for you. May I sue me, me, dash, the shoham, the